Hi, I'm Rachel Stancliffe with Oxen Technology. Once again, we're discussing business continuity and disaster recovery planning for your organization. In today's tip, the fifth in our series, we're talking about assigning responsibility. Your business continuity procedures and your disaster recovery plans may not be very effective if you don't know who is responsible for them. If you don't know who should be handling which parts of your plans, then you may be scrambling trying to respond to an emergency. So you need to assign responsibility in your plan. People need to know who is in charge and who is going to execute your plans. Who is leading you? Who is assigning tasks to people? Who is monitoring the situation and deciding when to send communication updates. You can designate an entire disaster response team with all of these roles spelled out. And don't forget to let people know that they are actually on the disaster response team. But don't build your disaster response plans around a specific person's skills and knowledge. Your plans can fall through if they depend on a specific person. For example, if your recovery procedure says, John will restore our email systems because he's the one who knows how to do that, that doesn't really help you if John is no longer with the company because the BCDR plan is out of date, or if he is absent, or if the emergency is that something has happened to him. Critical knowledge like John's should be documented and included in your plan. It's much more helpful if your recovery procedure says the IT director will begin email restoration using the procedures documented and stored in X location or using the instructions provided from the email vendor on this web page. This assigns responsibility initially to the IT director, whoever is fulfilling that role at this moment, and it makes it clear what the procedure is or where to find the specific instructions for this procedure for anyone who has to actually accomplish it. So in general, you can assign responsibility to job roles and try to limit mentioning specific people. There will, of course, be instances where you need to mention a specific person's name, and that's fine as long as you're keeping your BCDR plan up to date. That's it for this BCDR tip. Next up is testing and refining your plans. If you have any questions for Oxen Technology, please leave them down below. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.